Hi, my name is uh, Pratap Aditya Chakravarti. I'm a resident of Bangalore and I stay very close to the Manipal Hospital Varthur Kori in Bangalore. I'm a kidney transplant recipient and I was operated upon uh, you know, about two months back here in the uh, Manipal Hospital at Varthur Kodi. Well, my journey has been for about two years and uh, so about two years back, there were some pathological tests which were conducted and it was found that my creatinine levels uh, had gone beyond uh, the you know, permissible limits. And initially I thought that it was possibly because I was doing a lot of walking and stuff like that, but then uh, wanted to take an opinion. So I met up with Dr. Uh, Rashpi and uh, Dr. Rashpi did a whole lot of tests to eliminate the various reasons, underlying reasons that could be the cause for the increase in creatinine. Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi, consultant nephrologist, Manipal Hospital, Vatur. So this is about one of my patients, uh, Mr. Pratap Aditya, 48 years old. He first time met me in 2021. It was a casual visit for uh, finding out the cause of his renal dysfunction. Initially, he used to have a creatinine of around 1.8, then later he was also a diabetic. So we suggested a kidney biopsy for the same. He underwent biopsy and was found to have a chronic granulomatous interstitial nephritis, which is quite a rare condition. So we did try to treat it uh, with a trial of steroids and everything, but unfortunately he didn't respond. Usually interstitial diseases take longer to progress, but unfortunately he started progressing much earlier. So, and in mid of 2022, he started having a worsening kidney dysfunction, which probably would have gone on to dialysis. That is when we started priming him about the requirement of transplant and having a live donor versus cadaver transplant. As months went by, my condition uh, worsened, but it was very, very slow. Around November, we decided that, you know, that it was time for me to go in for uh, my, you know, transplant and get prepared. We had uh, Prasanna out here, you know, who is in Dr. Rashmi's team, who is the transplant coordinator. And uh, finally, uh, around beginning of December uh, of uh, 22, you know, I had to be put into dialysis because my condition worsened a lot. That was the first time that I could not actually walk and I was feeling so, so heavy. And uh, the entire team out here in uh, Manipal Hospital at Varthapuri, they sprung into action. Uh, they ensured that, you know, my, my dialysis and that my dialysis was done from here, all right? Uh, and and that, was, that was done very smoothly. The insurance guys, they really helped me out in terms of sorting out my financial affairs. And uh, I think I did about six rounds of dialysis before I went in for my uh, you know, transplant. So his wife uh, came forward to donate the kidney and we started the evaluation then. So we had planned a preemptive transplant where the patient undergoes transplant without any dialysis. However, in the end of uh, starting of December, he did require a couple of sessions of dialysis pre-transplant. We had a thorough evaluation pre-transplant because his native kidney disease was chronic granulomatous nephritis. Of course, we had to rule out TB, which was a nightmare if he was undergoing immunosuppression. Hi, I'm Dr. Chetan. I'm a urologist and a kidney transplant surgeon at Varthurod Manipal. So this patient, Mr. Pratap Aditya, who came to us uh, with CKD, uh, he came to me uh, in the month of October for the pre-operative workup. So we worked him up. We found out he had bladder outlet obstruction along with uh, chronic kidney disease. So the wife was donor. We worked her up. So we explained to them that they might need a correction for bladder outlet during the time of surgery. I am fully aware of what happened after that. You know, for eight days I was there in the isolation unit within the ICU of the hospital. And uh, I must make a mention that uh, we had a wonderful team of 
the three, four uh, senior nurses who attended to me 24 bar 7 for all the eight days that I was there and they attended to every requirement that I had. I must specifically make a mention of uh, Dr. Chetan. Dr. Chetan's contribution uh, in this entire process is amazing. Uh, donor nephrectomy was done uh, with laparoscopy guidance. Uh, the post-operative status of both the patients were smooth. Uh, of course, there were minor hiccups, so which we managed uh, ultimately. And uh, he had to uh, readmit because of a minor infection, uh, which we uh, successfully treated. And both the donor and recipient are doing well. So transplant is definitely not a bed of roses, but it is definitely the best solution available for kidney disease. Since then, uh, it's been two months now, and um, it has been uh, a phenomenal journey uh, with the doctors, uh, you know, attending to me and my requirements. My recovery has been very, very good and has been very, very quick also, I must say. One of the biggest contributors there, physiotherapy team because they ensured I was getting my exercises, my pulmonary physiotherapy was happening, they got me to walk and they kept me motivated. They visited not once but you know twice or thrice in a day and they ensured that you know I was completely motivated. Everyone out here in the hospital has helped me out. So best wishes to anyone who's going through this process. I'm sure you'll come out fighting fit. Thank you.